Nyagik Power Station is a 3.5 MW mini hydroelectric power plant in Uganda. <laughs> Location The power station is located across the Nyagik River, in Nyapi sub-county, Okoro County, Zombo District, in West Nile sub-region, Northern Region. This location is in the town of Pada, close to the border with the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This location is approximately 97 kilometers 60 miles, by road, south of Arua, the largest town in the sub-region. The coordinates of the power station are 2 degrees 25 50.0. N30 degrees 57 minutes 50.0 seconds. E latitude 2.430556, longitude 30.963889. Topic overview. The site and the development concept for the project have been extensively studied, including. An Environmental Impact Analysis EIA by Gassat Technical Consultants Limited in 1997 A Detailed Feasibility Study and EIA by Hatzer Engineering in 1998 An EIA by NORPLAN in 2001 An Environmental Impact Statement by Environmental Management Associates and the Econ Center for Economic Analysis in 2005. The Nyagik Hydropower Project, in its first phase, is expected to generate 3.5 MW, using a run of river scheme. A diversion weir 14 m high will be constructed about 600 m downstream from the Pada Nyapi Road Bridge. A power intake will be located at the left abutment of the weir. The water conveyance works are composed of a 1 km miles long pipeline, a surge shaft, and a 400 m long surface penstock. The powerhouse will be configured to accommodate two 1.65 MW generating units along with the associated electro-mechanical equipment. The sub-region is not connected to the national electric grid and is not expected to be connected to the grid until the planned 600 MW 800,000 horsepower Karuma power station comes online in 2018. It is anticipated that power produced from Nyagak will serve a population exceeding 1 million people in Arua district, Nebi district, and Zombo district. A 33 kV power line connecting the towns of Arua and Nebi is being developed. A 33 kV power line already exists between the towns of Nebi and Pader and is just a short distance away from the proposed powerhouse. The structural design allows for future expansion of the generation capacity to 7 MW of power. All the studies carried out before construction of the powerhouse indicated that potentially low environmental and social impacts would result from the implementation of the Nyagik hydropower project. The main reason for this is that the hydro scheme is small and its impact is limited. The area is sparsely populated with low aquatic and terrestrial ecological characteristics. The Nyagik Hydropower Project is in line with the Ugandan government's plans for the decentralization and privatization of hydropower systems. The government of Uganda, through support from the World Bank, is in the process of implementing the Energy for Rural Transformation (ERT) through the African Rural Renewable Energy Initiative (AFRREI). West Nile Rural Electrification Company (WENRECO), a subsidiary of Industrial Promotion Services, was selected to develop the power plant. Construction began in December 2006. Topic: Construction delays. The project was delayed for nearly two decades because of financial and procurement hurdles at the government level. President Yauri Museveni broke ground in February 2006. In December 2006, the Czech construction firm Skoda Export Company Limited started construction. Since 2006, about 10 deadlines were issued for completion of the dam. After multiple interruptions, construction of the power station resumed in August 2010. Spenkin Services of India was selected as the new contractor. 
Under the revised terms of the contract, the government of Uganda took a 10% shareholding in the power station. By July 2012, the construction of the power station was complete. On the 14th of September 2012, President Yoweri Museveni commissioned the power plant. Topic: <laughs> Construction costs. The estimated costs for the dam and power plant were approximately $14 million. The German Investment Corporation, a subsidiary of KFW, has provided $11 million for construction of the power station, as well as $13 million for the West Nile Electric Grid Extension and Rehabilitation Project. Photos and diagrams Nyagak Dam construction site in April 2012 See also List of power stations in Uganda List of hydropower stations in Africa List of hydroelectric power stations <laughs>